What's going on guys? Jones and Dogs here and welcome back to the channel. Alright now man, I got another smooth unboxing for you guys man. You already know how we rock man. It's time to unbox some stuff man. And uh, I've been having this guy in my hangar for a little minute now waiting for a kind of a decent day. And to be honest, it's kind of chilly outside today guys. It's <clears throat> quite breezy. We got another cold front coming here, but uh, we are supposed to get up into the 50s today. So hopefully I can get this guy out for a flight today. This is the SHRC lock, guys. All right. Now, this guy has been out for a couple years now. Uh, if you some of you haven't heard of it yet, this is the Rise Teleclone. All right. Uh, uh, some of you, some of my quadcopter flyers, my more experienced quadcopter flyers I already know what the Rise Tello is. Now, some of my new my newbies, you might not know what the Rise Tello. Now, I don't have a Tello to compare it to myself, but um, you look up Rise Tello, you'll see what it's all about. It's a it's a little selfie quadcopter with a 720p HD camera, and it also uses image stabilization in the Rise Tello. Not this one. I'm talking about the Rise Tello right now. It's a 720p quadcopter, has image stabilization, and also has DJI parts inside of the Rise Tello that gives it that quality build and um, good performance of the Rise Tello. Now, today we're gonna be talking about the lock, all right? Now the lock is basically a cheaper alternative to the Tello. I think you can get you a Tello for about $99 right now, which is not too bad since it's had, you know, it has DJI components in it. It's very good. Nice little selfie quadcopter, has image, stabilize, image stabilization in it. Now this doesn't have image stabilization. This has a 720, P HD camera and does have optical flow and I believe the Tello has optical flow too and it has sensors underneath now this doesn't have sensors underneath but this is a fraction of the price of the Tello all right and that's where we're gonna try this guy out now the Tello is about a hundred bucks and then you have to spend an extra maybe like 20 30 bucks to get the controller with it so you're looking at about if you want to get it with the controller you're gonna have to buy the controller. So you're looking at about 120, 130 bucks out the door for the Rise Tello if you wanna fly it with the remote. Like I said, it doesn't come with the remote. This one comes with the remote, completely ready to fly. I think it comes with either one or two batteries and that's all you need. And this one, this guy is like 30 bucks on Amazon. All right, maybe 40, but you get like a 5% or 10% coupon off of that 40 bucks, man. So this guy is underneath $40. And it has 720p HD camera, optical flow underneath. All right, has three speeds. It's supposed to do uh, like a little gesture type deal. You know what I'm saying? Automatic takeoff. I guess it flips 360 rolls, orbit flight. So we're gonna check this boy out. It's a fraction of the cost of the Tello. So let's just see what this guy is about. So, right up top, you got your, your little quick start guide. The FYDRC is going to be your app. A lot of you guys always ask me what's the app for the drones I'll be flying. So, if you guys want to pause this and you can scan that QR code or you can just type in FYDRC in the app store and this should come up for you guys. Or you can just pause this because I, I get that question a lot in a, a lot of my videos. Uh, what app? What's the app? What's the app? So, um... Here is our user manual. Seems to be nicely detailed, fairly legible. So we'll get to that in a minute. Then, you know, of course, we got our uh, our customer satisfaction card and all that good stuff. Now let's get to the gusto. So look, everything seems to be well packaged. Look, I haven't opened anything. Look at that, man. So there's the lock, and it has a um. Like an army fatigue body on it. That's pretty cool. I like that. That's pretty dope, man. So, take this off. And, um, let's get the remote out. The remote seems to be... I think this actually uses the same props, though, as the Tello. It looks like the same props. I don't have the Tello to compare it to, but it looks like the same props as the Tello. This is going to be our remote, our transmitter. For the drone okay and look at that to give you a little a card to tell you everything that it does 
So that's nice, especially for beginners, since all the buttons are not labeled. They, I mean, they're kind of labeled. If you know what you're doing, high and low rates right there, photo or video, one key return, looks like this is a 360 flip. I mean, so for the most part, they are labeled, but they give you this anyway, so you can figure it out. Um, on and off button there. These are probably fake antennas. Let me see, I don't see any wires. Yeah, these are fake antennas. There's no wires or nothing running through these antennas here, so you can just put those up for looks. I'm guessing it's gonna be like three AA batteries, maybe four. I'm guessing three though. Let's see. FTV foam out. So you're gonna put your phone underneath there. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. So, all right, man. Let's go ahead and get this guy out. The box. The SR SHRC lock. Not, not to be confused with the Tello. Ha! <laughs> Bang. So yeah, it has some decent weight to it. Um, yeah, there is a battery already in here, so we do have a battery already in there. All right, take this little piece of protective film off, might help. So nice on and off switch on top for army fatigue body, has HR on the side, 720p camera up front, buying, buying all up in your fin ice. Uh, I don't have optical flow. I don't see any sensor. That's supposed to be where the sensor is. I thought I had optical flow. Is that the sensor there? Not really sure. It looks empty. To me, it doesn't look like there's no optical flow sensor underneath. So maybe this one doesn't have the optical flow. I thought it did though. So maybe this one doesn't, cause that's empty. That's not under there. So maybe this one doesn't actually have the optical flow. Here's our battery. There's where you, you would charge the battery for the lock. And it's a um, 3.7 volt, 1000 milliamp hour battery. Lithium ion. All right? All righty. Check that out. So yeah, there's no optical flow underneath there. Oh well, that's some nice little foam footies underneath to stick the landing. Same props, direct drive, motors for this guy just like the tello so let's see what else so this is gonna be looking feels like another battery so nice when they give you two batteries especially when it's proprietary it's nice that they do that yes yeah, so this is an extra battery check it out Last but not least, is probably gonna be our charger. Charger, and maybe some extra, uh oh, two chargers. Now that's dope, two chargers. So you can charge both batteries at the same time. I like that, I really like that. Um, so you got prop guards which I probably would never use, and they look like they just snap right onto the end. You do get four of these. They just snap right onto the end of the drone. So beginners, use those if you need those. And then um, a couple extra props, or four extra props. So a full set of these little extra props. I'm not going to pull them all out the bag. Full set of these Tello style props and four extra prop guards in here. So that's cool. That's what you get inside this little goodie bag here. I'm not going to pull everything out. You guys know the traditional stuff you get with this stuff. So, yeah, man. We are going to get this guy charged up. I got two chargers to charge both batteries at the same time. Hopefully, it warms up a little bit. That's the SHRC lock, guys. So, let me get this batteries charged up, and we'll take this guy for a fly. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So, we're outside. I have this SHRC lock aka the budget tello clone bang all charged up guys and we're gonna go for a quick flight of this guy so my first flight has the on and off switch on top i'm gonna turn it on as you can see it has some lights blinking on the top that's pretty cool let's go ahead and turn on the transmitter and just to reiterate the transmitter does take three 
AA batteries, guys, okay? So when you turn on, you do it up and down to bind to the drone, and then you want to take both joysticks down to the lower right to calibrate it. You heard it beat. Now that calibrates the gyroscope to make sure that we are on a flat level surface. It's going to take off level and flat, okay? All right, guys. So let's go ahead and just connect to the Wi-Fi of this guy. This is my first time ever flying, guys, th this guy. So you're, you're witness it all with me for the first time. And we're going to experience it all together. So the Wi-Fi is Wi-Fi Z0802, some numbers. Your numbers might be different on yours, but it's Wi-Fi Z something like that. <laughs> so let's do that and get on out of that and uh, get to this app. The app is the FYDRC. I told you guys that on the table review. So here it is. And we're just going to go and click play. We should be ready to go. All right. We have FPV feed. All right, guys. So it's getting a little bit breezy here. We're just gonna go ahead and just take off by hitting this uh, one key takeoff. And she shot up quick there. She shot up quick there, didn't she? I wanna see if I could start the recording from the, the transmitter. So yes, long, long press there, start the recording. Get on over here, little bugger. Get on over here. Now we're in the first rate, I'm full pitch. In the first rate, that's full pitch right there. The recording has started. Um, yeah, it's full pitch in the first rate. So this is very docile. This is be your indoor flying rate in the first rate. But it's not too bad though. Let's check the yaw. That's our yaw right there in the first rate. Let me get a two beeps. I'm not sure how many. I think it has three speeds. So this is our second rate. Ooh, I'm getting blinded. I'm getting blinded by the sun. So this is our second rate, I think. I'm not sure how many rates. So there's our yaw, second rate yaw. All right, three beeps. So do, we do have three rates. So this is the third rate, and there's our yaw in the third rate. So I think I'm just gonna stay in the third rate for right now. She's a small little one. I thought I had optical flow, guys, but it doesn't. I think there is a version with optical flow, though. But look, it's holding pretty well, though. You know. Look at that, it's getting blown that way with the breeze, but it's holding pretty well with the, the altitude hold is. Nice. Got about a minute or so of recording going, and the, uh, the camera feed looks pretty decent, to be honest. It's pretty decent, 720p camera. There is no SD card slot with this guy. So your feed is just being recorded directly to your phone and saved inside the gallery on your phone, guys two batteries with this one and she's getting blown <laughs> come on back on over here come on back on over here with your boy drone the dog let's try a flip if i can get her on over here let's try a flip wow so it's a short press you don't have to hold it short press and they give the right stick an input and it flips that's pretty cool you don't have to long press it you just short press it and it flips nice little flip with the little bugger them direct drive props are really quiet too really quiet so let me go ahead and see if i can stop the recording recording stop so you can you can start and stop the recording with the hard transmitter with the remote you don't have to just use the app let's see if we can take a picture up there and it did it took a picture i think my uh my phone just kind of just my screen locked let me see what happened there yeah, my screen locked on my phone. All right, we're back. So I have to be careful with my lock button on the side of my phone and make that uh, <laughs> make that my phone lock. I thought the app closed, but it wasn't the app. It was actually my, my lock button on the side of my phone got hit. So I took a couple photos. Let's take another one. Can I get one of me? Can I get one of your boy drones and dogs? Let's see. Yeah, I keep uh, locking my phone up, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> So let's start the recording. She's holding. Recording started. Get a close look at a little Tello clone, the SHRC lock. Guys, this thing was underneath $40, all right? And this thing is performing pretty well. You know, I don't want to jinx myself right now, but it's, <laughs> I'm kind of impressed. For the price, 
you know, as cheap as it was and it was looking like a tello, sometimes when these drones try to look like something else and they're really cheap, you kind of expect them to not perform really well, to be honest. You know what I'm saying? So I was kind of, I was coming, I was kind of expected to come out here to give you guys a, to say two thumbs down on this guy. But to be honest, <laughs> I'm impressed. I am. I am really impressed with this little thing here, man. This this is this is this is going right into my collection. I, I don't think I will be getting rid of this. <laughs> I like this. This is, this is this is little, it's tiny, it's quiet, so it's not gonna bother anybody. You can fly this at the park, you know what I'm saying? Front yard, backyard flyer, and it's gonna be it's gonna hold up. You no? Know? And like I said, this is a nice, I would call this like a what what uh tello was what the tello was marketed as this is what this is marketed as this is a nice little selfie bird guys nice little quad to take with you throw in a backpack you know small enough even throw it in a uh, big jacket pocket and you're going to be able to just take this guy with you with the remote too and be able to just fly this guy anywhere pretty much indoor outdoor anywhere and you can fly it with the phone too i'm not big on the phone phone flyers but if you didn't want to take the remote with you you just want to just throw this guy in your pocket and still have your phone. You're going to always have your phone. Everybody keeps their phone with them. And still be able to fly this guy and get some good little, little selfie footage. You could be at your son's baseball game or something. Throw this little guy in the air and get some good little shots of him playing, playing ball. My phone keeps shutting off. So I'll keep losing my recording. Let's start the recording again. I gotta I apologize guys my if the recorder keeps going in and out because my phone keeps my uh power button keeps getting hit. Recording started. My power button keeps getting hit. There's a flip right there. So I started another recording. So yeah, it's flying around really good guys. And since since my phone keeps coming in and out and I'm not really sure how I'm gonna sync up the recording with the the video. So what I'll probably do, guys, is just throw up the recording after this. All right. So if you you guys just stay tuned, and I'll throw up the flight the flight footage after this. Okay. That way I ain't gotta worry about syncing it up in the editor because it keeps my phone keeps shutting off, and it's not the app. It's just my power button is on the side, and it keeps getting hit. By the way, this phone mount is it keeps getting hit and making my phone lock my screen and then that makes this recording stop so it's not the app itself it's it's my phone guys all right so it's, there's no fault to the drone oh yeah this is an excellent flyer guys two batteries like i said the, the actual camera for you looks really good too I'm really shocked by that, and I like that camouflage body on this one. Direct drive props on the direct drive motor, so she's really quiet. And this thing is cheap. It was like 30 bucks, man. Wow. I did not expect this, guys. And I'm pleasantly surprised, you know? I am. I am. I'm pleasantly surprised with this one. I am. I'm re not really sure about the range, but I wouldn't really take this guy too far because she's so small. Once it gets too far from you, it's over. You're gonna be like, where is it? <laughs> you know, so I wouldn't be trying to do no long range sins with this little thing right here, man. She's a good flyer, man. Phone hasn't locked up on me again yet. She's a good flyer, man. I'm gonna stop that recording. Look at she's she's just sitting up there now. She's getting blown back. So I stopped the recording. And I wanna bring her in close and see if I can see anything flashing. I'm not really sure how I'm gonna know if my LVC is blinking or not. Look at it though, man. Look at that little thing. Go bang, bang, go bang, bang. Look at it. <laughs> Looks just like a Tello. 
So now we're just gonna fly it around, man, without the recording going, just to check out the fly. Oh, I didn't leave. Ass telemetry? You hear that? So I ain't gotta worry about looking for no lights. That's our low battery warning right there. She's getting sluggish. So I'm gonna just go ahead and land it. I hit the land button. Wow! Look, you hear that? I don't even know this thing has telemetry, guys. This little thing is awesome. For underneath $40, the SHRC lock. Ooh, I dropped my phone out. <laughs> shut off, let me shut that thing off. Let me shut the drone off. Um, Yeah, man, this little thing is awesome, guys. The SHRC lock. For underneath $40, you get two batteries. She's really quiet, she flew really well. I had no mishaps. I'm gonna post a link for this guy below. This thing is on Amazon. It's amazing. If you want a, a little selfie flyer that flies great with a decent camera, I'm not really sure how it's gonna look when I get it into the editor. We'll find out then. But hey, just on fly flyability alone, guys, this thing is amazing. Two thumbs up. Uh, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised with this thing, guys. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Don't forget to like and subscribe, guys. That helps out the channel. That helps me find out and uh, if you guys are liking these reviews or not. So like and subscribe, comment. Let me guys, let me know what you guys think of this guy here, and I'll check you guys out in the next review. I'm your boy Drones and Dogs. Thanks for watching. Doses.